Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 Agatha Christie movies to watch. Now if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on so you don't miss any of the future videos. And now let's start with number 10, Death on the Nile. On a luxurious cruise on the Nile River, a wealthy heiress Lynette Ridgway is murdered. Fortunately, among the passengers are famed Belgian detective Hercule Poirot and his trusted companion, Colonel Race, who immediately begin their investigation. But just as Poirot identifies a motley collection of would-be murderers, several of the suspects also meet their demise, which only deepens the mystery of the killer's identity. It is a classic Hercule Poirot movie that we would definitely recommend. Number 9. Murder on the Orient Express A lavish trip through Europe quickly unfolds into a race against time to solve a murder aboard a train. When an avalanche stops the Orient Express dead in its tracks, the world's greatest detective Hercule Poirot arrives to interrogate all passengers and search for clues before the killer can strike again. This might be one of the most famous works by Agatha Christie. And even though the movie didn't get a lot of hype, the 2017 version of The Murder in the Orient Express is a good movie to check out if you like Agatha Christie. Number 8. Crooked House in Agatha Christie's most twisted tale, a spy-turned-private detective is lured by his former lover to catch her grandfather's murderer before Scotland Yard exposes dark family secrets. This is a story of young Sophia that returns after the war to find her grandfather poisoned and family filled with suspects. Luckily, her fiancé Charles is the son of the assistant commissioner of Scotland Yard. Number 7. The Witness for the Prosecution The Witness for the Prosecution is a 2016 British mystery drama thriller television serial broadcast on BBC One that happened over the Christmas of 2016. This series expanded the plot which is based on Christie's original short story with the original ending. The story follows Leonard Vole, who is being tried for the murder of a wealthy woman. But he is in luck as the legendary lawyer Sir Wilfred Robarts has chosen to represent him. Unfortunately, Leonard's alibi depends on the testimony of his wife who, after the discovery of a legal loophole, makes the shocking decision to appear in court against him. To Sir Wilfred's surprise, this is only the first in a series of puzzling revelations and reversals. Number 6. Ordeal by Innocence Ordeal by Innocence is another great work of detective fiction by the British writer Agatha Christie. This movie takes place on Christmas in 1954, when a wealthy philanthropist Rachel Argyle is murdered at her family estate in Sunny Point. Her adopted son Jack Argyle is arrested for her murder, while he protests for his innocence. Jack Argyle dies in prison while serving a sentence for killing his mother Rachel Argyle. His own widow, Maureen, believed him to have been responsible. Jack's alibi failed when police could not find the man who had given him a ride to the next town as the murder was happening. This movie, similar to other Agatha Christie movies, is full of excitement and mystery. Number 5. The Pale Horse This movie series follows a man who is determined to find out why is he on the list of names found in the shoe of a dead woman, while a trio of witches are believed to be responsible for a series of sudden deaths. The woman that died was Mrs. Davis, who gave her last confession to Father Gorman, a Catholic priest, but along with her confession she also gave him a list of names and a terrible secret. Before he can take action, however, he is struck dead in the fog. As the police begin to investigate, a young hero begins to piece together evidence that sets him upon on a mysterious path. Number 4. An Inspector Calls A police inspector's investigation of an apparent suicide leads him to the Cow family estate where preparations are underway for an engagement party. This movie is directed by Aisling Walsh, produced by Howard Ella and stars David Trulis as the titular character. 
The story is centered on a mysterious inspector who investigates the socially ambitious Berling family and a dinner guest following the mysterious suicide of a young woman. Number 3. Agatha and the Truth of Murder this movie is not a biopic movie about her life, but actually a fiction of Agatha Christie solving murders. In 1926, with her writing in crisis and her personal life in tatters, a young Agatha Christie decides to solve a real-life murder. When the goddaughter and a namesake of Florence Nightingale is found murdered on a train with horrific head injuries, the victim's partner of 26 years appeals to Agatha to help solve the case. Number 2. Agatha Christie's Miss Marple 450 from Paddington A friend of Miss Marple sees a woman being strangled in a passing train. When police cannot find the body and doubt the story, Miss Marple enlists professional housekeeper Lucy to go undercover. Reviewers at the time generally really liked the novel, but would have, have liked more direct involvement of Miss Marple, and less consideration of her failing strength, using others to act for her. A later review of the novel found the story short on clues, but favorably noted Lucy as an independent woman character. The UK title 450 from Paddington specifies a train time departing from Paddington Station, a major station in central London. The train is identified by the time it is scheduled to leave that station at 10 minutes before 5 in the afternoon. In British style, the time is written as 450, while nowadays it would be written as 1650. As this would create problems with the title in the US, the title was changed to What Mrs. McGillicuddy Saw, which became the official title on the US market. Number 1. Agatha Christie and Then There Were None and Then There Were None is a dramatic adaptation of the best-selling crime novel by Agatha Christie. The story follows 10 strangers who receive an unusual invitation to a solitary mansion, based remotely off Britain's Devon coast. Among the guests is an unstable doctor, an anxious businessman, an irresponsible playboy, and a governess with a secret, cut off from the outside world. The group arrives at their destination, only to find that darkness awaits them. As people start to mysteriously die, the members of the group realize there is a killer among them. This novel is to many one of the most important and best Agatha Christie works, so also the movie is definitely something we could recommend. Now we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on and leave a comment down below answering what is your favorite Agatha Christie film. Have a wonderful day and until next time, bye bye.